I strongly believe that we have a revolution ahead of us, the revolution in mobility, because we are moving into the age of autonomous driving. We will face very soon autonomous robo-taxis, which will connect railway stations with suburban areas where people live and um, that uh, gets the opportunity to commute between their homes and the railway station or between their homes and, and, and their workplaces. The biggest change uh, will be that um, we will um, take over driving responsibility to the machine. That's unusual because over the last 130 years of automotive driving, man was in charge of driving. This will change dramatically and we will see very soon robo-taxis, robo-buses operating in designated areas and limited areas uh, at the beginning, but more and more driving tasks will be taken over by the machine. In the first phase of this revolution, we will definitely have mixed traffic situations. That means we will see uh, manually driven cars and um, cars driven by the machine. Um, maybe we will have different lanes in the first phase, that we have specific lanes for autonomous driving. That's definitely a solution. But we should get over this phase very soon because um, uh, it's risky. Um, many accidents can be the, the consequences of those mi mixed traffic situations uh, because some cars can communicate with each other and then we have these isolated satellites on the streets which are dangerous to the others. I hope that we can get rid of the ca um, cars which we see today because uh, also we all believe that we are excellent drivers. In fact, we are not because 94% of all accidents are man-made and that's a good argument to get rid of the traffic situations as we experience today. We do see uh, autonomous driving already in place. Uh, I would say uh, Singapore is a role model for that. We have a quarter called One North, where we do see autonomous driving in the roads. It's, it's limited, um, that's, that's true, but they do a, a lot of experiments by setting robo-taxis, robo-taxis, ta uh, buses in place and try to connect those autonomous vehicles with public transportation. Definitely challenges in, in mastering this revolution. I think it's not the technology, it's probably not um, the law, it's probably the habits of, of, of the humans because we tend to, um, to control a car, we, we tend to master a, a, the machine and that will have a dramatic impact on the way um, we consider uh, driving because we have to give up responsibilities to a machine and that, that's a long, a long process um, to get used to this situation. It will take um, many decades until we see the total transformation to autonomous driving uh, because um, think about the infrastructure in Africa and South America. Um, a lot of effort is necessary to, um, to make uh, autonomous driving possible there, but we will definitely see many of those examples in Singapore, in some American cities, even in Europe within the next 10 years. In Switzerland, we will see um, autonomous driving in limited space very soon. As a, the role model is Sion, where we have this uh, autonomous bus on the road already. I know that Schaffhausen uh, will come up with a, with a concept. In Zurich, we will say, see very soon some of those cars. We do have a, a big debate here in the eastern part of Switzerland. Are we able to set up something like that? So uh, many cities and, and regions are interested in uh, being test, test field for uh, autonomous driving concepts. And it's not just passengers which we have in mind, it's also, also about lo logistics. When we worked on this book on autonomous driving, what struck me most was um, this empirical inv investigation where we interviewed people, where we um, did workshops with people and, and we found out it takes time to change established habits. And we had conversations with so many people who were convinced I never will give up a steering wheel because I insist that I'm, I'm the better driver. No machine in the world can replace me. And um, until we can change this kind of um, setting, this kind of, of, of arguing, uh, we, we need a lot of more effort.